Hi, this is Gary Kay. We are at ISC 2023 in Barcelona, Spain. And obviously we're in a booth with a big display. That'd be LG with the micro LED displays. I'm here with Stuart Ray. How are you doing, Stuart? I'm doing great, Gary. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Uh, talk about this wall behind us. That's an 8K wow. native wall. It's quite spectacular, isn't it? This is our magnet micro LED. So we're looking at a six meter point seven eight millimeter pixel pitch screen 8k so micro led technology yeah micro led so if you're familiar with the kind of the development of led we have smd which has kind of been our current product line but there's a limit to how small you can make the pixels so we're all moving on to micro led getting rid of the encapsulation and moving to diodes directly on the circuit board so much much smaller pitches and these has led us to a black surface structure, which gives us you know, 100, 100, 150,000 to one contrast ratios. Right, so when it's off, it's completely black because yeah. the superstructure is painted. It's a very similar look to, uh, to an, LED, an LCD panel, that same slightly hazed plastic finish. It's very, very smooth. Uh, not too much reflection, so they're good in ambient light, high ambient light environments. As you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, and it eight, so to get at a 0.68 millimeter, this is 0.68, right? 0 0.78. 0 0.78. 0 .78. 0 .78, you have to go 272 inches to do 8K. Yep. But then to go 4K, you'd be around, what, 130? Uh, 163, I think. Okay. And oh, so, no. so you just, oh, build, anyway, you just yeah. keep building the blocks to go higher. I mean, you can keep yeah. going bigger. You can go higher than this. Modular. Right? So we have a, a 600 by 337 standard cabinet, and we do the different modules at different pixel pitches. So 0 0.78, 0 0.93 and 1.2 at the moment. The range will widen because this is the technology that LED is going to be using in the future. Yeah, so uh, tell me about the applications for stuff like this. I mean, obviously this could replace any installation, but much, it'd be yeah. overkill if you're too far away from it. I mean, you, you could use something with a, a larger the pixel. The extra pixel. resolution gives you more detail. So yeah, I mean, obviously the, the, it does allow you to stand a lot closer having the smaller pixel widgets, but it's, it's easy to become overwhelmed, isn't it? But I think we're seeing applications at 4K, the smaller pixel pictures reduce the screen height. Yeah. So you can get it into a standard office uh, height environment. It's like meeting room even. And, uh, and, uh, uh, maybe it's a, a slightly higher end meeting room at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Boardrooms. Or, or a lobby. Lobby. Lobbies, yeah, anything where you want to create an impact, but also control rooms. Because that concentration there is resolution, and so it's, it's we've kind of hit that threshold now. About pixel density. Pixel now. density. So the yeah. pixel density gets higher, which means you can actually move closer to the screen too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the viewing distances on these are a handful of meters, as opposed to being a whole room. So you've got yeah any any applications where you want to be close up, and they're very very, you know, easy to watch. You know, they're, they're, we are 600 nits, but you can turn them right down as well, so you can get a very detailed image the contrast ratio is so high that you get all of your shadow details in the video so you don't need a huge amount of brightness D does hdr address micro led yet is there a standard uh, for hdr because you'd obviously hit hdr yeah, we, standard we support hdr 10 uh, on our controllers without any great need for extra infrastructure which is quite nice yeah. but it's uh, again it, it's content based content driven hdr yeah. so uh, in a lot of applications it's not really used but in sort of video-based applications, and yes, it looks amazing. Well, we see a day where we're replacing uh, film projectors in movie theaters with stuff like this, or digital projectors in movie theaters with uh, LED? We're doing it now. Are you doing it already? Yeah, we have uh, two installations currently in Europe uh, with the direct replacement of LED into a cinema environment. There's one very locally here, actually. So is it DCI compliant? Fully DCI compliant, yeah. Uh, whole systems are DCI and uh, because we work with Dolby, uh, then Dolby Atmos certified as well. Excellent. Well, look, we're going to go around and shoot individual product videos and everything in the LG booth. One of the coolest things here is a transparent OLED product as well. Yeah. Mind-boggling. So as we go from big images, we still have a lot of need for smaller images. Why not make them transparent? Uh, so all of this comes from LG. You can check them out online, of course, or you can go to vid our video search window on our website at raypubs.com slash ISE. Just search LG in the video window. And you'll find them all. Stuart, thank you very much for doing this. we got a lot more to cover. All of our coverage is at raypubs.com slash ISE.